take a blue blend, the blue, the I forgot. <laughs> I should say all of that once again. Hi guys, this is Sasha Shetty here, the Indian ballerina. So today's video is all about how to make a ballet bun. So we will be uh, learning two ways of uh, ballet bun. One is a classical style, which is a normal bun, which is a little higher. And the second type is the lower bun. Um, the lower bun is actually really good if you have short hair. FYI, for people who don't know, I used to have really long hair. I miss them, but can't do anything right now. So we're going to work with these. I love them too, but yes. Uh, so without uh, further ado, let's get into it. So the things that you will be needing is, of course, your comb, right? Um, hair tie, small ones. Yeah, um, I got this uh, dabba from uh, Miniso. They're pretty good. Good quality, uh, lasts very long. Um, and they are really good if you have uh, short hair. But um, if you have long hair and you need an extra support, get the big ones, right? You should be good with two ties, but I don't know if you need more, please get them. Uh, the next thing is your U pins or your bun pins. They look like this. Again, if you have short hair, get the smaller ones. Uh, but if you have long hair, you might need, again, a little extra support. So these are the big ones. And um, of course, your bobby pins. These ones. Yes, these are basically for your baby hair or the hair that are flying around and doing jazz instead of ballet. Um, so you tuck them with this. And in the end, of course, to finish it up and give it a little bit more professional look, you need the head, uh, hair net. So again, I have two types. One is a little thicker one. Uh, these I use basically uh, during my performances and my show. Um, and then there is a little lighter one, uh, like this, yeah. These I use for uh, my classes, my rehearsals and stuff like that, right? So, let's get into it. I am facing the mirror like this so that you can have a visual of both uh, from the back side and from the front side. Alright, so we're gonna start with, of course, combing our hair. Um, you have an option of again uh, making a uh, center parting or center parting or no center parting. If that's up to you. I'm not going for the first one. I'm not going to make center parting. I'm just going to bring all the hair back. Again, I'm making it a little bit more faster for you guys. Of course, it's going to be a little bit more neater when I do it by myself, but yeah, you get the idea. So secure everything, comb your hair nicely, get it in the center, get your hair tie again. We can use the normal hair tie or we can use the small ones, those are up to you. Make a ponytail, high ponytail. Make sure it's tight. Like so. Yeah. Just comb your hair. Again. Now. Now the fun part. So, there are two ways of doing this. One, you can just start curling your hair and make it in a bun or you can divide the hair into two parts and curl one and make it right so if you have thin hair like mine my my hair are pretty thin I usually like to do uh, the, the two uh, parts yeah but if you have really thick hair you can just go ahead and just make everything in one yeah, so I'm dividing it into two, right? 
I need my bobby pins and I need my U pins with me. So these are my U pins, right? I hope you guys can see. Yeah? Okay. So keep keep at least four to five pins next to you. Again, revive them, roll and twist. And start making a bun. Make sure that your bun is as close to your head as possible. Don't let it pop up. Yeah, so twist, hold it there, right, put a pin, U pin, bun pin, whatever you need and stick it. Again, curl it, like so, and again, secure it with a bun pin. Like so. Yes? Now, keep going. Use the other strand. Twist it. Yeah. And again, put a new pen. Now, if you notice, I'm not making the bun uh, completely and then putting the U pins. I am uh, twisting it a little bit, then putting the U pin, and then twisting it again, and then U pin. So that the bun stays as flat as possible. We don't need a pyramid on your head. We need a nice flat bun. Right? So again. Secure it. And that's it. That's your bun. Again, if you need more pins, Please put them. I think for me it's more than enough. Yes. Now, if you feel that your uh, bun is secure now, you can move around and check if it's not coming out. If it's not, if it's secure, wonderful. You can just keep it that way. If you need an extra um, hair tie, uh, if you feel that you need an extra support, you can always put another hair tie on it. I don't need it right now, so I'm not going to put it, right? And in the end, just finish it off with your hair tie. Ah, sorry, hair net. Okay. If you have some extra hair net lurking around, just pin it inside. That's it. That's all you need. Now, for my baby hair, you have two options. One is to again use uh, your bobby pins. Yeah, use the small ones guys. Don't use the big ones because then they're going to poke out like that. Yeah, so usually I use them for the hairs which are here. And just tuck everything in. Um, usually when I am uh, making bun uh, um, for a class, for a rehearsal, I don't use spray. I don't like using spray so much on my hair. Um, so what I do, I just damp like a little water on my hand and I just bring everything back like that. Or I just use um, bobby pens and just clip on uh, if there is any extra hair that's around. But of course, uh, if I would be making it by myself, I would uh, make it a little bit more neater, I feel. And um, But still, you guys kind of got the um, idea of uh, how to make a bun. Um, so this is your classic way. You see that the bun is flat and not like a pyramid. We don't want pyramid buns. Yeah, we don't want like this sticking out like that. We want neat, clean, flat bun. Right? So this is your classic bun. Now I'm going to show you how to make uh, the lower bun. Yeah. Okay. Alright guys. So now we're going to go into the second uh, way of making your bun. 
again combing my hair for this part i am uh, doing a center parting again if you don't want to do it don't do it but just to give you guys a little bit more variation again guys uh, it's a little tough for me because i don't have like a proper mirror and i'm adjusting to the camera as well so um thoda idhar udhar ho sakta hai but this is more or less to give you an idea of how i make my bun so yeah also most of like uh, a lot of times if the bun is not coming out great i would really do it like a uh, hundred times Hundred times, but like three, four times. But here I have only one shot, so you get what I mean. Okay, enough of chatting. So we're gonna go and make a low pony now. Yeah. So get all your hair. it with a 
bun. Also, I don't know if you can see, but my but this hair net is really big for my bun. So I'm just snipping it twice, like so, and then. That's it. Yeah. Again, after this, if you need a little bit more, you can always put one more hair tie. I feel my butt is pretty secure. I don't need anything else. So I'm just gonna stop here. Okay, you guys. So this is your low bun, low ballet bun. Again, if you need um. Hairspray, use hairspray. Mine looks pretty much set, so it's fine. I don't need anything else. But again, if you have baby hair flying around, you can always use uh, these bobby pins. You can always use a little water, just damp a little bit in, on your hand, on your palm. Just press it. Again, though that works very well if you are just um, in a class or something. But of course, if you have a show, if you have a performance, you need a, something a little bit more steadier, which will hold your hair for a longer period of time. So of course, when you have your show, use um, hairspray. But uh, generally, for class um, and for rehearsal, you don't really need. Um, um, hairspray so just use water um, or just use bobby bobby pins and put your hair back but yeah that's about it so these were your two um, styles of uh, ballet bun of course there are a lot many other styles as french twist um, that I'm still learning <laughs> so I will learn that first and then share it with you guys but yeah there are a lot of other other um, styles of ballet bun as well but these are more um, uh, towards the classical uh, side or classic style of ballet uh, buns and these are my top favorite. I um, used to do the high bun when I had long hair and now because I have a little shorter hair I have switched to the, this. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know in the comment section down below how you felt about this and um, your comment section is like your notepad and it helps me understand um, and learn more about you guys as well and um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this video. Yay. So, I'll see you guys super soon. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you guys. Super, super, super. Bye. Also, don't forget to click on that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. I will see you guys super soon. Bye.